This is NBC 15 Sports. Hello again, everybody. Last week, individual state tennis saw a pair of area finishers take on fifth with one third place as well. Tonight, the Division I portion of Team State began. A pair of Big Eight teams at Nielsen Tennis Stadium, Verona and Middleton, in number three singles. The Wildcats, Patrick Conley going up against Marquette. And that is an outstanding backhand lob that lands right on the line. Nicely done. At three doubles now, the pair of Luke Schoberly and Christopher Quaff get the ace here, but Verona falls 7 0. Middleton taking on to Pierre also at three doubles. Colin Hagendorf and Sam Detman win their match 6 1 6 1. It was a similar story for the cards at three single. As Brian Bellissimo, how you doing? With the volley that the Redbirds can't run down, they advance 6-1 to face Marquette tomorrow morning. The weather seemed to be a, the big winner yesterday at the state softball tournament, but today, Mother Nature, huge fan. As two of our local teams left to try to bring home that big old gold trophy, starting Division Four. if you like offense. Today's Southwestern Cochrane Fountain City game was the one for you. Wildcats led 2-1 to one in the third. When their offense erupted, erupted people. Allison Cruiser sends one high and deep to left that brings home two runs, and they weren't anywhere close to being done. Chloe Rinnaker dumps one into center for one of her two RBIs on the day, and that deserved the whip and the nay nay. Wow. Katie Fritz capped off the monster frame. No nay nay there, but a gapper into right center that brings home some more RBIs. A three run triple. Nine runs in the inning, even more to celebrate in the fourth. Fritz again goes to right, brings home another two runs, five RBIs for her on the afternoon. Southwestern doubles up CFC 16 8. Ryan Wing has more on the victorious Cats. Southwestern made the best of their first ever trip to state, banging out 16 runs, one shy of the D4 record. 15 of those came in back to back innings as they move on to the title game with a 16 to 8 victory. We've had some offensive explosions throughout the course of the year um, in a couple different games, but not against a caliber team like Cochrane Fountain City. So I'm extremely proud of our girls and how they attacked the ball. And um, it was very contagious and it was certainly a lot of fun. I've given them a hard time before where I wasn't having a lot of fun down at third base, but uh, I had a lot of fun down there today. I don't really know what to feel like. It's like mixed emotions. I woke up this morning and I felt like I was going to vomit. I was like, oh my gosh. Woke up at 5.30 and I didn't have to get out of bed till 6.30. And I don't, it just feels awesome. I was hoping. I was really, I knew I had the practice and I knew I could do it. Just had to relax and not get too over anxious. And, too excited for the game. Coach Costello says if the team plays with confidence tomorrow, he likes their chances of bringing home the title. At Goodman Diamond, Ryan Wing, NBC 15 Sports. They will play Thorpe tomorrow morning. Last year's runner up in D3, point at taking on Grantsburg. Pumas with a runner on third and one out in the second, but they fail to get her in as the Pirates' Olivia Tucker gets back to back strikeouts. Bases loaded now for Grantsburg in the third, one out. Ashley Hellenbrand gets the pop up into foul territory. Riley Barnhart fires to third for the double play. Grantsburg, too much though today for Poinette. Jordan McKenzie singles in the center to make it 4 0. They put another six runs on the board and they end Poinette's season. One game shy of the title game, 10 0 is the final. There's an old saying some, day, some days you win, some days you lose, and some days it rains. And we fell in the middle of that today. There's, you know, there's. We got beat 10 to nothing. That's that's the bottom line. They they got hits when they needed to get hits when they had runners on base. It's been a crazy four years here at Point. I, I wouldn't have changed it for anything. I love this program. Mr. T is just such a wonderful coach. I wouldn't change that for the world. Every game that I've played here has been momentous and unforgettable. I love Bob Tomlinson too. Hey, more sports? Yes, please. High school soccer and the Mallards when we return.